Well, today is a new day and I'm feeling approximately 37.27% better than yesterday. And I was out of it. Don't know what it was. I think it's the oyster. Don't eat raw oysters. I don't care who you are, how you think your stomach can handle it. Um, that's my public service announcement for the day. It wasn't even worth it. But anyway, so today we are camped out at Scorpion Bay um, along San Juanico, the village that's here. And it's a gorgeous view of the Pacific. But we're not here for gorgeous views. We're gonna head out with Steve and go into town. There's a school we're gonna be catching up with and doing some things to help out. And then we're gonna head over to El Parismo and do some work over there as well. And don't really know what we're gonna be doing, but we are here to love on people and to see what goes on behind the scenes in a really, really crazy busy world. Um, there's people out here that you have never even imagined meeting before, and we're gonna go meet some of them. Secondary English teacher. Should I ask her? Ask, well, ask her if she can tell us where to go. If not, we can just go to the primary and Just leave you put the camper on the ground and then yeah, draw, around. <laughs> Books. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay. Grumpy pants. <laughs> Maybe I can help you guys. Yeah. Grumpy. I brought over a thousand pounds of the stuff down in July. Um, school stuff. And I'm so glad that they have this. Yeah. yeah it's Really cool. Yeah, this is a nice school. Oh, so they know English. They know some English. That's awesome. <laughs> Buenas, good morning. Well, they're all excited. Yeah. <laughs> On three. Uno, dos, dos, tres. Do you want a mask for the boy? Gracias. Gracias. Okay. Gracias. 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 Gracias.
We're going to all these villages in the nearby area and Steve has hundreds of pounds of books, kids books uh, in English, and we're dropping them off at the schools so that the kids can have basic material to learn English. And it's been really well received everywhere we've gone. The kids have had a great time getting the books, flipping through them. They don't understand them yet. Someday, hopefully they will, but it's a really cool, simple way of contributing to these communities that we're traveling to. And again, they're so appreciative of what we have to offer them. Well, we're finishing up our time here in Scorpion Bay, and we're gonna head out to the Commodus today with a couple stops in between. Gonna be stopping in schools with Steve to drop off some books and also some sewing stuff. Um, some yarn and other sewing materials so that they can, um, some of these communities will be sewing things for infants and for the elderly. So we're going to be heading out of here. It's uh, definitely a beautiful bay, beautiful beach. Um, definitely need four-wheel drive when we come back here. If we come back here, we'll, uh, we'll be four-wheel driving it as we are now. But the setup is pretty cool. The caravan's sticking around here for another day and tomorrow they head out and we'll be in the Commodus. So we may end up seeing them. We may stay an extra night out there and see them again. But we're peeling out from the Commodus and heading down toward La Paz. So we may not stick around. Just kind of depends on what's going on and um, you know where Steve ends up taking us and when the uh, caravan gets into town. So for now, we are wrapping up and gonna get back in the truck and head on out of here. We've made it to our first stop in the village of Las Barrancas. We are going to stop at the school here and see if the teachers need English books to teach the kids here English. Everywhere we go, Steve has contacts. He knows pretty much everybody in these small villages, which, which is awesome. It's been over 40 years that he's been coming into Baja, and it's really cool to be part of the experience. Literally everywhere we go, somebody waves to him, somebody pulls him aside. In this case, we're visiting a church that he's been helping build over the last 15 years or so. And uh, there's just so much to see that he's showing us that we never would have known um, because this is our first time. So we're hoping that we can learn a little bit about where he goes and make some of those same relationships. So when we come back or if you come down, you can connect with the same people and have similar experience. What a surprise. We had no idea we were going to stop here and uh, we pull over on the side of the road on the way to the common dues and there is a goat farmer here that makes cheese with the goat milk and it's a pretty neat place.
Cobija, ¿no? <laughs> sí. Ahorita que hace tanto frío. Ustedes uh, lo traen frío, le dije. Yeah. She, she said that, she said that she, he got a lot. Yeah. Even to do a, like a big blanket because now, now it's too it's cold. cold. Okay. And yeah. she's asking you if you're not cold. No. <laughs> We're in a little town called San Jose de Comondú. It's part of the Comondús. There's San Miguel and San Jose de Comondú. We're staying in San Miguel de Camadu and we'll go back there tonight and walk around. We're invited to a little special activity that's going to be going on just before Christmas. But since we're here and we are not in our vehicle, the roads are crazy to drive. Um, clearance and mud and rocks. And so we were able to hitch a ride out here with Steve and we thought we'd take advantage of it and go do a little tour of the village. It is tiny, just one road in, one road out. There's a lot of cool old historic buildings. The mission here, like most of them that we found in Baja Sur, was founded in the early 1700s and built throughout the middle 1700s. The original one here was destroyed by a hurricane and rebuilt shortly thereafter. And so it is still um, pretty much original, several hundred years old, beautiful. Um, the wood inside is old, not original wood, of course, but you can smell this um, the smell of beautiful aging inside of the of the mission, and it's just a pretty awesome place. We are back in San Miguel de Comandú, and it's an old town, really cool, lots of old buildings, cobblestone streets, and there's a service tonight in the church we're going to go to special service to celebrate um, something. Yeah, you don't? It's at 11 p.m. Yeah. We're waiting till midnight to celebrate something that starts tomorrow, which is at midnight. But uh, we're gonna go wander the streets and then we're gonna sit down for dinner and enjoy a beautiful night here. Everything in the common dues is very lush. We've been the recipients of lemons that we picked wild, oranges, papayas, no, uh, no. Gua Lemon guavas, guayabas, which is what I would name my son if I was going to have a son. <laughs> I'd name him Guayaba, and uh, it's just beautiful. And the Pueblo, there's a mixture of old adobe buildings that are falling down with the hurricanes and heavy rain over the years, and new buildings that look like the old ones, just not made out of the adobe. Brightly colored, beautiful buildings and it's just every block you've got a mixture between these old uh, colonial style buildings and the newer ones. So this area of Baja is pretty unique in that when it was first settled by the Spanish, Franciscan monks raised grapes and produced wine and then that kind of went away for a couple hundred years and recently they've rediscovered that the grapes are good to grow here, that the wine is delicious, and so there's several small wineries that have popped back up, particularly in the Comandus, and we're at one of those right now. Well, today was our last day in the Comandus. We are parting with Steve once we get to Insurgentes. And we're going to continue on to Ciudad Constitution. So we are going to connect back with the one today and continue our journey south. Um, our trip is over for this week. It was a short week with Steve, but the days were long and very busy. We dropped off a 
lot of books, English books for kids in different schools and different villages. Very productive. Um, great past few days that we've spent with him. We are going to meet up with Steve again in La Paz and he's going to introduce us to more people and organizations that we can volunteer with down there. And that will be next week. Well, we made it to La Paz, and it is the peace, for sure. The peace? That's is that what, what it means? That's what pause means, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I Learned was going to ask you what La Paz Spanish meant. Spanish lessons with Lindsay. <laughs> La Paz is the peace. We have found a peaceful place. Yep. That um, kind of left us in an indefinite state here, I guess, in La Paz. We're not really sure what our plans will be. We don't know how long we'll be here. We don't know where we're going to stay. Where we're staying right now is definitely not a long-term solution. We're on the street. A side street off the Malacan. Yeah, yeah, about, we're half a block from from the water, which is nice. We've made friends with the neighborhood dogs. You may hear them barking in the background. <laughs> Bloodhound and a kick me dog. A little, yeah, a little yap yap dog. Don't yeah. call it a kick me dog. It is, it is, everybody knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> so we're gonna be waiting for Steve. We'll reconnect with him. He told us he's gonna introduce us to some great people. Yep. Go to church with them on Sunday morning, and um, that's something I definitely miss. And we will um, maybe know a little bit more about our plans after Steve gets here. So we're definitely called to wander, and we have arrived at a place where we will probably wander from. But for the time being... La Paz is a cool place. We're here. I've been surprised. You haven't seen much of La Paz. I know, but what we've seen has been pretty neat. Okay, what we've mm -hmm. seen has been pretty neat. So. so for now, this is it. For later. Manana, manana.